this video, I want to share with you something really crazy I found on the internet last night. Not some articles I found. And this has to do with um, AOL, also known as America Online. Of course, you know, back in the day, um, AOL was the biggest you know, ISP out there because you couldn't get, you couldn't easily get um, broadband service like DSL or cable back in the early 2000s. And of course, in the 90s, it was very hard to get, if not non existent. So back then, AOL was very popular because everybody, um, because of all the disks you get in the mail, people put, um, stick the disk in the computer, get some free hours of AOL, and they get used to the service and they start using it. But here's something very surprising, and it just, it just blows my mind, and it kind of makes me aggravated too that this is like this is the way it is. Um, I've actually found some articles that said that. Um, Three million people still subscribe to America Online's dial-up service. Now, of course, there is a good reason why there are still some dial-up subscribers out there. Out in rural America, rural, in, like, let's say out, out in rural America, there are many places where you can't get more than dial-up. I mean, you can get satellite, but it's not very fast, and it's really, really expensive, so most people just stick with dial-up. In some cases, you're lucky to get DSL. So there's... Quite a few people that are still subscribed to dial for that reason, but um, there's another reason. And this is what aggravates me about America Online. Is um, many people that still subscribe to AOL don't realize they're paying for something that is free. Many subscribers to AOL are senior citizens. Of course, many senior citizens out there are not very computer um, Illiterate. I mean, computer illiterate. They're not very familiar with Windows and everything else. They they know how to do the basic tasks such as turn the computer on and get on AOL. Now, of course, I'm not down on anybody because I mean, this this is the way way things are. Like for example, my neighbors. Um, I just sold them a computer earlier this year. They never had a computer in their house before, and it's 2012. They're, they just now got their first computer. And they're, they've never seen a computer before. I mean, they've never seen Windows before, so it's a new experience, and I can understand it. But um, America Online is taking advantage of many people by not telling them, hey, if you have cable or DSL, you don't need to pay for our service. See, what these people are paying for is, let's say they've already upgraded to DSL or cable, and they simply don't realize that they don't need to pay AOL to get their service. In actuality, the money they're paying AOL is for dial-up access they don't even use. Seriously, for dial-up access they're not even using because they're using cable or DSL for their internet connection. So we've got all these people up there, I think, this, I think the true stat is like 8%, something like that. And I'm not sure how accurate that is, but there are a lot of people out there that um, are still paying for America Online just to get, because they're worried if they cancel AOL, they'll lose their email. And it, it, it just really aggravates me that AOL is doing stuff like this. And here's another thing about America Online that's really aggravating. It has been, and in some cases, it still is very, very difficult to cancel. Back in the mid 2000s, um, let's say you just got dial I mean, you just got broadband installed at your house. And you've been a long time dial up customer for AOL. And of course, I think it was in 05 or 06, AOL started offering their services for free for those who already had an ISP. If you was already subscribed to dial up, it was very, very difficult to get away because the sales reps would do everything they can to retain a customer. That's the way it is with just about anybody. Let's say time on a cable, Connage, or well, Connage was actual Connage, but. Um, Almost anywhere, the customer service representatives will do everything they can to keep a customer. And see, what's real aggravating is with um, AOL. Um, let's see, you already upgraded to DSL. There's no need for dial-up, so why? Um, I mean, it's it's real annoying that, that the that the people have to put up with the CSRs trying to s keep customers on dial-up service they don't need. Now see, um, this is why I call America Online, I mean AOL, I, re I reference AOL as to AOS, 
American Online sucks. But yeah, um, so anyways, um, if you subscribe to AOL, and you have DSL or cable, and you're still paying AOL, stop. You don't need to pay AOL for something you already have for free. You can go to AOL.com and get you a free email address and, you know, your screen name and everything. You don't need to pay for that. Anyways, um, I hope that information helps you save $25 a month because that's what AOL tends to charge for the most premium service. And I'm sure, as of right now, there are many people out there that are paying for something they don't need. Anyways, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.